generally in in guitar world, there's a whole school of player that gets good at that. But the problem with that is that it becomes a trick. And once you start playing that note, you're committed. All you can really do is generate all of those notes in that order and then hopefully land there. And you're not really conscious of what, what happens in between. Is that music or not? The, the jury is out. Um, but with the jazz thing, it's generally built up from smaller snippets of arpeggios and the correct legal arpeggio will keep changing because it's in the nature of jazz for the chord not to stay the same. So you need little cells of notes like um, 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 stuff like that. And if you try an alternate pick that, two things happen. One, it won't work because it's really difficult, but two, there's something about trying to alternate things, really, alternate pick things at high speeds, which kind of backs you into a corner dynamically. Uh, the faster and faster you go, the more it feels like you're only able to play those notes alternate picked at one dynamic level, and it's generally a high dynamic level, and you lose some of the tonal effect. Uh, there's something really useful about being able to play fast bursts of notes without really hammering them in the same way that when you hear someone do a kind of a snare roll, a lot of the, the buzzy little notes are quieter than the main backbeat. So you want the guitar equivalent of that. Can you play a, a wild flurry of notes without each one of those notes overpowering the rest of the line? So economy picking is your friend there because it's naturally a more gentle, relaxed, efficient way to move. You don't feel that same pressure to be overly physical. So for me, I remember noticing one day back when I thought I was a strict alternate picker. There were certain kind of certain things like that where I was economy picking and I didn't even realize it. Um, but you get a completely different effect. Like that's the Zach Wild way. Uh, and if you try and pick it any softer than that, you lose something. Um, but there's something about playing it that way. Uh, sorry. Um, so I'm just kind of stroking the strings. It's nowhere near the the headroom like the maximum headroom dynamically that I could get. But to me, it just sounds a bit more elegant that way. So I've started to accept economy picking is part of what I do. I think it's best to take stuff like this on a case by case basis. And when you're choosing whether to pick alternately or economically, you ask yourself, A, which way is physically possible? Because sometimes it's only one way rather than the other. And then which one is gonna give me the sound that I'm going for? Because the sound is just as important as the name of the notes.